Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Giselle Mills. For those of you who are new, welcome and welcome back to my subscribers. Today's video is a tag video. It's called the end of the year book tag and this is a series of six questions all about books of course. So it's a very short tag and let's get right into it. So the first question is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? Yes. If you've watched any of my previous videos, one of my goals videos, I believe, I talked about the fact that I started this book called The Confessions of Franny Langton several months ago this year, and I'm still yet to finish it. I bought it in ebook format, so that is probably the main reason why I haven't been able to finish it. You know, I'm not used to reading ebooks, and I bought it, I started reading it, kind of lost interest, and the fact that I had to be staring at a screen to read it just turned me off but I'm determined to finish it and I really need to finish it I want to finish it this year so yes question number two do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year um an autumnal book a book for autumn I guess these questions are rather biased of course it's assumes that all the booktubers who are responding Live in a place which has seasons like autumn and winter and summer and so forth. If you don't know, I'm from the Caribbean and we don't have such seasons. We only have dry season and wet season. So we don't have autumn. But I'll still try and answer this question. Well, coincidence or not, I am currently reading a book which is set during the autumn period and its setting is in New York. It's called The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. So guys, when I recorded this video, I had just bought this book. But if you've watched my November wrap-up video, you would have seen that I've already read this book and I absolutely loved it. So yes, that is my autumnal pick. The sun is also a star. Question number three, is there a new release that I'm still waiting for? Well, yes, I'm waiting for several books which have been released recently because the bookstores here where I live, they don't have the books as yet. So it looks like I'll have to buy them as ebooks, which I'm trying not to have to do because I much prefer paperback, as you guys know. But the books that I'm waiting for are Slay by Brittany Morris. I'll put it somewhere up here. War Girls by, I believe it's Tochi Onyebuchi as well as Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron. They're all YA books written by black authors, female authors, and I can't wait to read them. I really want to support the cause, you know, because you hardly used to see any books written by black authors only until relatively recently. And I'm very happy about that and I can't wait to get them so I can read them. And they're all fantasy YA books as well, so I like fantasy. I haven't read as many fantasy books quite recently, so I'm looking forward to reading these books. And apart from these YA books that have been released, I am waiting for one which has not been released yet. It's by the author Mildred B. Taylor, who I absolutely love. She wrote The Role of Thunder, Hear My Cry book series. I read them and I have all of them. She's writing another book in the series, which I've been waiting for for years. And that one is coming out in January, so I am really, really counting down and really, really looking forward to that book because I really love that Logan Family series. It's historical fiction and I love historical fiction. Question number four. What are three books that I would like to read before the end of the year? Um, one, Born of Crime by Trevor Noah. I mentioned this in my nonfiction November video as well. It's a memoir by Trevor Noah. He is a celebrity, he's a comedian, he's the host of a TV show on Comedy Central. He is very smart, intelligent. Oh, I love him. So yes, I definitely want to read this book. He's from South Africa as well. I also want to read Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. I also talked about this in my nonfiction November video. You could also check it out. Same link down below. I had this book for years and I need to read it, heard great things about it, and it's supposed to be motivational, inspirational, so definitely want to read this one as well before the end of the year. And thirdly, I want to read The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. So this is non-fiction as well, it's like a biography based on a true story, based on this individual, a black lady whose name was Henrietta Lacks. 
Her cells were taken from her without her knowledge and consent and used by scientists in the US and multiplied, used for genetic engineering, cloning, and developing the polio vaccine. So basically, her body cells were used to, without her consent and scientists and the government, whoever else, made millions off of her body while her family members her current descendants you know they got nothing for it so she was basically taken advantage of like so many other black women and black people in the u.s and all over the world so this story details what happens so it puts a spotlight on such occurrences which i'm sure weren't only done to her but to many other black persons and other disadvantaged people all over the world. So those were my three picks to read before the end of this year, 2019. Question number five. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? So for this question, I'll say I'm not sure, but if I were to answer this how I want to answer it, it would probably be a question like, what is my favorite book of the year? Or something like that. But even still, um, I don't even think I have a favorite book of the year, at least not yet. Recently, I've been reading books which have been depressing me, just so sad. I need to stay away from sad books, you know. So I'm hoping my books for 2020, my reading list, will be more positive and happy. But yeah, to answer the question, I'm not sure about a favorite book, at least not yet. So I'll probably talk about what book I picked as my favorite book of the year before the year ends. And question number six, the last question in this tag. Have you already started making reading plans for 2020? And yes, I have so many books that I haven't read as yet. So I will be, and I'm in the process of allocating them to the different months next year. So that was the end of my tag the end of the year book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you've done this tag as well, feel free to let me know in the comments down below and I'll check out your video. Feel free to let me know down below as well what books you're reading. Do you have any end of year book reading goals as well? Let me know down below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do just click that red button. I would love for you to join my reading and writing community here on booktube. Also, click the notification bell so you'd always know whenever I post a new video. I'm also very active on social media. You could find me on Twitter every single day. I am at Giselle underscore Mills. I also have a website, which is GiselleMillsBooks.com. There you'll find basic information about me and my writing and my books and where you could find them. So guys, thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you very soon in my next video. Bye!